If you are writing a blog on how to start affiliate marketing in 2023, you just simply need to select the number of sections, the number of paragraphs per section, and with a few clicks, you have the blog ready. Now you can simply export it to WordPress and do the final editing, publish it, and you are done. While creating a website, if you are stuck with any issue, you can simply query this to this application. For increasing the maximum upload file size, this prompted me correctly to insert a small code to the themes function PHP file. I wanted to do this with a plugin and it smartly advised me to use the increase maximum upload file size plugin. I wanted to have a custom image for my website content, so I gave some instruction to this app and it created few sample images for me. Here now I can simply add the image I like to the media library and use it on my website. The exciting thing is this image is unique and has no copyright issues. I always wanted a chatbot on my website which can be trained to provide human-like solutions and read the content from my website to provide custom solutions to the visitors. All these features are now possible with AI plugins. So in this video, I will show you how artificial intelligence is going to change the WordPress web development and we will discuss the best plugins to look for. So let us start. At the moment, if you go to plugins and search for AI chat GPT, you'll see that you have very few options available. So if you scroll down, there are hardly six plugins which are coming with this title AI chat GPT. So few of these plugins have just been launched and you will see that they have less than 10 active installations. Among all these plugins, you will see that few of these plugins are having considerable installations and one of the plugins is the AI Engine plugin, which is by Jordi Mao. And if you refer to their website, you will see that they develop WordPress plugins concerning optimization and imagery. If you scroll down, you will see the AI Engine and if you click on it, you will get the brief overview of the plugin. And I have used this plugin quite a lot and observed that the developers are constantly updating this plugin and making it relevant to the changes which are happening with ChatGPT. So for this tutorial, we will be using the free version of this plugin and you can check out the pro version if you wish to check. So I will go to the dashboard and install this plugin. I can simply activate the plugin. Once we activate the plugin, you will see a entry for the new apps and here you just need to click on AI engine. To use this plugin, you need to have an active chat GPT account and here you just need to place the API key for chat GPT. So how to get the API key? It is very simple. You just need to click on this link. Here you just need to log into your account. So it has taken me to the API keys section and here I just need to create a new secret key. Copy this and enter it over here. So the key will get automatically saved for this plugin. So here in the settings section, you will see all the exciting things happening. So the first thing is about the chatbot. So we'll see how to use the chatbot similar to the chat GPT. The next one is the generators. And here you will see the content generator and image generator. So we'll be having a look at both these topics in detail. You also get the playground. We will also see the assistance part here you will get the assistance for title suggestion, except suggestion, WooCommerce product generator. So a lot of exciting things we will be seeing soon. Along with these options, you will also see that you have a new option under the post section and you will get the generate new option. 
So if you click on it, it will take you to the content generator. So this is where all the magic we will see. And here you can see that you will soon have the title, sections, content, excerpt, all generated with the help of this tool. So for example, I will just key in the topic here. So the topic on which I'm writing a blog is the food intolerance test are they worth it? So now I can simply click on generate all and it will start creating the content for my blog. So depending on the speed of your internet, it will take some time to generate the content. So here it is and it has generated a content. So you can see that it has created two sections and there are three paragraphs per section. So depending on how much length you want for the content, you can select the number of sections and the number of paragraphs per section. Also, there are content parameters like you can select the language, you can select the writing style, you can also select the writing tone and there are a few other parameters like the model parameters and you can also add some prompts to have the content as much customized as per your requirement. Of course, we'll not be using this content for creating our blog, but this can be a nice starting point for writing our blogs. Further, we can just simply click on this create post button and it will create a blog post on the WordPress. So now you have the blog ready in front of you and you can make the changes as per your requirement. Of course, you might think that the same thing you can achieve with the help of ChatGPT, but I'm just showing you how the things will be in coming days. And once this plugin evolves, we will have a lot of additional things. And of course, once the content is ready with this tool, we can take it to some another tool like the Jarvis and optimize it for the keywords and use it for our blog. The next interesting thing that you will see on this tab is the bill images and if you click on it it will take you to the image generator section so here you can generate the ai images with the help of this tool and if i simply enable the templates i can have the images in four different types so i will select any of this so it is going to create a image for japan tokyo trees izakia anime oil painting high resolution and it will be a Gilby inspired image. So let us create this image. So in few moments you will have the images created in front of you. So if you think any of these images are useful for your blog or your content, you can simply add it to the media library. And now if you go to the media library section, you have the latest image which you can put it in your content. So this is how it is going to change a lot of things and all these images will be part of the upcoming web development. The next interesting thing we will see is the chatbot and for this let us go to the Mayo apps and AI engine. So here you will see the chatbot tab. So to enable the features you can just click on the formatting and the code. You can also style the chatbot. So I will keep all these parameters as it is and I will simply select the icon for the pop-up and maybe I will select this one. The next thing is the chatbot builder and here you can set the tone of the conversation and it is by default set to converse as if you were an AI assistant be friendly and creative. So let me change this to happy and helpful. So the style of course will be chat GPD and I will select this as a pop-up window. I don't want it to be full screen and you can select the set as a default parameter and inject chatbot in the entire website. 
So let us now check how the bot has come up on the website. So this is our website. And on the front page, I don't see the chatbot. Let me see other pages. And I see the chatbot over here. So maybe a glitch on the home page, but we have the chatbot on other pages. So if I click on the chatbot, you will see that a window pops up and here I can key in my questions. So the most interesting thing about this chatbot is that we can train this chatbot as per our website content. So if you go to the website again and check for the tutorials for AI engine, you will see the tutorials related to the chatbot and here you can check out how you can make a different type of chatbot and insert the short codes on different pages of your website. You can also make a chatbot which can read out the content on that particular page and it will search the relevant information on that particular page and display it to the visitor. So now if we go to the website and ask this chatbot, how is the weather in Mumbai, it will give you the information. So it says current weather in Mumbai is mostly cloudy with a high of 32 degrees Celsius and a low of 25 degrees Celsius. But we are not visiting this website to get the weather report and we can of course modify this chatbot to get the relevant content from our website. So this looks interesting if we are just playing around with this bot, but there is a lot more to it and we can actually train this bot and make it relevant to our website by providing the data sets for this chatbot. To learn more, you can visit this website and you can fine tune the responses that the chatbot is providing on your website. So apart from creating the blog images and the chatbot, we also get an interesting feature under the playground. And here you'll see that there are a few things like the text translator, restaurant review writer, text corrector, SEO optimizer, WordPress assistant. So a lot of these things are still under development and you can check all these things if you are curious to know more about it. One of the interesting feature that I have tested is the WordPress assistant and if you click it over here, you get a window and below that you can insert any query related to the WordPress development. So for example, I will put a query to this bot, how to increase the maximum upload file size. in WordPress. So it has given me the option, you can increase the maximum upload file size in WordPress by editing the PHP INI file or adding certain code to the .ht access file. You can also adjust the settings in the media setting page if the hosting provider has allowed it. So I will again query, is there any plugin to do this? And it has come back saying, yes, you can use a plugin like WP increase max upload to adjust the maximum upload file size in WordPress. So amazing it is, AI will surely streamline some of these tasks to manage your website better and easier than before. With the virtual assistants, it can also enhance the website content. It can help you in SEO boosting for ranking and traffic and also malware protection. Not only this, it can help you with the WordPress development if you are stuck with any of the tasks. Most of the plugins are relatively new and experimental, so it will be exciting to see what other applications for artificial intelligence we will see in the future. So if you know about any additional plugins that include artificial intelligence or machine learning, let me know in the comments section. So hope you like this video and if you have liked the content, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for all my upcoming videos. 
Thank you so much and take care.